Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am showing in AutoCAD how we can distribute the power, uh, means the power, electrical power distribution in uh, AutoCAD. And um, here is one, um, one design drawing for our cable tray. So I will show you how to do this uh, uh, power distribution in electrical plan. So using cable tray and uh, here we already having one design drawing so we need to develop the shop drawing okay so how how we can do that one i will show you for example i'll just edit this one block okay for x and i need to change that uh, color to yellow okay okay so this is like a db and this is the smdb for the typical uh, flows these are the typical flows okay so the main thing like we need to distribute uh, the power for each dbs and uh, and some other uh, power for uh, main power for all the equipments okay so i will show you how to draw that one so this is the smdb and the, this is the uh, electrical riser area okay so i'll make another video for another um, things okay so first of all i will show you how to distribute this uh, power system in each uh, for the apartments and the dbs the dbs are already placed over here like in each apartments with the provided each dbs so we need to distribute the power for that okay for example this is like a, in a design drawing okay so i need to develop the shop drawing so this is 200 mm cable tray 100 mm cable tray and like that it's divided okay so how how it's work i will show you okay we'll go for here for the cable tray first of all we can take the 200 mm cable tray so already we made it some uh, dynamic flow for that okay so we'll copy that one and just uh, I, I did some video for uh, how to make uh, dynamic cable trays and everything. I will put that one in the description box. So just rotate that one and place it in the center of this uh, cable tray. And we just uh, we just need to draw like this. Okay. So the one cable tray is connected like that. Okay. Then we need to go here and uh, uh, and we need to give some other uh, uh, this one like. Uh, uh, the like junctions okay so the this one we will we'll put it here and first of all we need to rotate that one since so we need to rotate it okay as per this uh, otherwise you can align with this uh, this one okay this this one you can align simply uh, or uh, otherwise you can move to here the center of this uh, cable tray uh, otherwise go move this one to here and rotate this one and press uh, pick one point and uh, give a reference r and pick this two point and connect it like this so we can um, the run the cable tray easily in a one shot okay so one cable tray is um, connected like that and another thing we just uh, uh, copy again this one and we need one another fittings over here okay uh, this is the root the white line is showing the root of the cable tray okay design cable uh, design drawing okay so what we are trying to do we are creating um, as per that we need to create our shop drawing so that is what i am trying to say okay just to uh, pick it this one over here and rotate it and just uh, uh, pick a point and just give an r for the reference and pick two point and align with this so just click on this one and just to go up to here okay then we need to another fittings uh, another one fittings we required okay so just to copy that to uh, this fittings okay copy to here this is 200 mm cable tray so that is what i uh, i made at the 200 mm cable tray dynamic block and we just need to fix it to this one over here and you can uh, you can this uh, this is uh, as per the coordination you can adjust uh, uh, the location of the uh, cable trays and everything so they they made it just uh, for the single line sketch for the cable tray so that is what it's showing like that and just mirror this one okay mirror it uh, sorry uh, undo it mirror this one and mirror it again okay and what we can what we need to do we need to fit this one over here okay so just to pick this one up to here and this one pick two up to here okay then we can run the cable tray up to here and the same thing you can do it here otherwise you can copy this one and just to pick it over here like this okay 
so if you need exact uh, running through that line then you can uh, move that one like this also so you can draw the uh, things like this okay so this this cable tray will uh, feed to uh, all the equipments whatever equipments over here okay so that that one is distributing for that okay and another uh, so this this was clearly we we did that one and we need one branch over here so we can copy this one rotate it it like that okay move this one up to here because this this we need one uh, t junction over here okay just to uh, move uh, stretch up to here and then this one we can uh, stretch up to here and from here you can uh, extend up to the uh, here okay for example this one is coming from this smdb and feeding to this uh, uh, power for this all the areas okay so uh, that is the uh, main concern and um, and we need to like that uh, t junction over here one t junction over here and one t junction over here and one t junction over here so what we need to do just align with this one and uh, uh, just uh, stretch from here okay stretch like this so it means uh, this uh, uh, this cable tray feeding to all like power to distributing for this all equipments and whatever uh, things are there that that is distributing to that and you can stretch this one to here and just click on this one and stretch to here and if, if you've done that one you can delete the line okay whichever you need they just keep it that one okay so just uh, need to pick it up to here okay so for example this one it's not matching with that so just pick it like that so easily you can uh, draw the uh, cable tray using this dynamic block okay so here is something missed okay so just uh, just stretch from here okay make it make it like this That, that is the way we are doing the um, simply you can uh, using this dynamic block to creating cable trays and everything so you can use lot of time like you can save a lot of time to creating uh, if you have dynamic block you can uh, use these things easily so we are doing like this way okay so just typically like this okay and just uh, draw like this okay connecting to this this one and same way uh, for uh, so we almost covered all the apartments so the main cable tray is uh, coming under this this one and next uh, next is for our 200 mm other cable tray also we need to uh, draw over here uh, so what we can do just copy that one okay so this one will change the color for another cable tray cable trunking or something like that no no need to give cable trunking i'm just uh, uh, giving that uh, another cable train okay so for example i am giving uh, this one is uh, some other uh, you can make the uh, uh, layer for that one okay so i'm just uh, giving this blue for this one okay then i need to uh, another cable trainer to run from here and uh, the same process you can do it okay so here also you can copy these things from here okay you can adjust like that and you can change the layer for uh, this one and you can adjust it to like uh, wherever you need okay just connect it like that okay okay so this one is up to here is connected and you just need to draw up to here and copy this one simply you can copy this one and you can uh, the same size means you can copy the things like this and you can uh, draw like this okay and even even here is also you need one cable tray um, uh, uh, t junction so you just just need to copy the things like that and you just place it like this so this is the way we can uh, do easily easily cable tray and you can um, this one is something having uh, issue with uh, this uh, blocks okay so here also you can just stretch it this one and you can copy this one to here and the same way you can uh, just pick it this one and put it here okay then uh, just uh, draw it from here and connecting to this table tray and match with this one the layer you can match it like that and the, and another thing you can just copy this one and just to put it here 
and uh, this one you can select like this maybe this one is uh, required 100 cable tray so 100 mm cable tray so what we can do you can just scale this one uh, 0.5 okay so then you can uh, connect it up to here okay and this one also you can scale it 0.5 already we have that one okay so another way simple way you can do it like this okay so just uh, track like that and even we have some t uh, uh, some reducer also over here so you can use the reducer uh, uh, from here so you just uh, need to be uh, drag a little bit from here okay so we'll uh, drag that cable to a little bit here and the reducer you can give like uh, uh, rotate this one rotate like this and move move over here and scale it scale it means uh, you should scale it like that okay so then the 200 to uh, 100 it will come so just uh, you just uh, make uh, like this means this is 200 and uh, how much it was this one really so we need to check the check the how much distance 200 and this one is uh, uh, 100 okay so this uh, this uh, this one is not fitting over there so we need to create some other uh, we need to look for some other uh, t uh, is the available for that so if, if it's available you can keep uh, keep it that one okay so we'll having one uh, one t over there and uh, we just need to be uh, we need to we know otherwise we can draw one uh, t, t like this okay reducer like that okay then it's connecting to this uh, this one and uh, same thing you can do here also mirror it and just move to this one here and uh, this one you can stretch up to here and simply you can connect it to the panel okay so this is the way we are doing this uh, uh, things okay so for example here also you can do the same thing whatever you need okay so here you can copy this uh, t junctions and you can connect it here and you can align with this one align like uh, like this okay like this and just move to the center of this one and connecting to this so that that means it's it's connecting to the uh, db okay so the same way here also you can do it and copy this t junction okay then uh, we can say like uh, we can fix it over here okay then just uh, connected uh, just move this one little bit up to uh, here and we need to give some t junction or uh, uh, like this one you can give it here okay so just uh, rotate this one and uh, you can align also align with this one okay so align this uh, because we need that angle so that is what you just need to align with this one so you can uh, draw the cable tray like this so just move this one and you can place like this so once you've done this one you can delete the design drawing whatever they given just deleted that one and you can make uh, uh, this one like uh, uh, if you need some other color okay so you can choose that color and you can place that one no issue okay so the, this so you can uh, differentiate the, the, the cable tray from uh, like that Okay, so then you can uh, uh, once you've done this one so you can uh, delete the uh, design things and from there and you need to give our own tags okay and you can give the dimensions and everything so from the wall how much it will go so for the coordination purpose you can give the uh, dimensions and everything from the wall and uh, uh, for example this one we can uh, move to uh, here a little bit more from here okay so Okay, so like like that you can make it. And you just uh, stretch it from here, okay? And connecting to this one. Okay, this is very simple exercise. So those who are working in uh, this uh, electrical plants and everything, so they can easily use this, uh, uh, this dynamic block and you can make the shop drawings and everything, okay? So, for example, um, this one you need here, okay, uh, aligned one, and you can make the dimensions uh, from here to here, this wall. 
so like that you can arrange the all the uh, dimensions and everything uh, then it will it will make a good uh, like a good presentation so you can make the dimensions and everything if you have some other settings okay so you can use that to that one also okay so this is the way we are doing that um, okay, and, and then then what we need to do we need to give the um, um, the cable tray size and uh, cable tray size and uh, the elevation of this one so for example this is uh, this cable tray is going to 2500 and one cable tray is going to 2700 so you just to make that one uh, the, make a text and you can place the text over here and you can make it uh, uh, like the symbol way like the tag and everything so one is 200 and uh, another one is like uh, uh, the, like this way you can uh, ma make the tags for all the cable tray and another details you have means you can give that that one also so simply you can make it a good presentation way i like this okay so for example this one you need like this okay just so you can give like that and copy this one and you can give wherever you need so you just just arrange as per your requirement for example here is the different cable tray okay so just mention that one okay and this one is 200 and this one is 100 so then you just need to uh, give the tag like that so another one you can he give over here okay this is 200 mm to uh, two cable tray so just to give the tag leader and just to give the tag for that one okay. and simply you can uh, give this um, tagging and everything okay uh, so as per your standards you can give the uh, text style and layer okay so like that we are distributing the power uh, power system as per the design if you have design drawing then you can use you can draw like this in the CAD and another video I will make for the how to distribute the things from uh, things to this uh, uh, for the equipments okay for, for from the db how we can fix the things uh, to this our uh, power uh, power distribution to the other mechanical or something like uh, um, all the other other things okay so i'll make another video for that one okay thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet so if it's if it's required uh, some blogs or something like uh, you can contact me i will provide for that one please subscribe my channel don't forget to sub so subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you